Hey guys, welcome to June's Mini Garage. In today's video, I will be working on the 124 scale EK9 Civic Type R. This is part 1 where I'm going to be unboxing and preparing the part for paint. This kit is made by Fujimi. And over the past years, Fujimi has produced quite a few EK9 model kits. The one I have is the Type R version, but they also have the SIR2, the Initial D version as well as the Spoon version. They don't make it anymore which means you can only buy it from a collector as they are getting harder to find. The instruction manual is only a couple pages long and is fairly easy to read. Even if you don't have any model building experience, you're not gonna be intimidated by this. The kit is molded entirely in white plastic. Nothing is pre-painted. And just like most Fujimi kits, there's no engine included. The body is in one piece and is really hard to see on camera but it has a lot of mold lines on the body, which I will be removing later. It has plenty of details in the chassis and it comes with some stock seats as well as a couple different steering wheels. But somehow it's missing a left hand drive dashboard. All the Type R parts are molded on a separate sprue. I was hoping to find an extra set of wheels, but only the Type R wheels are given in this kit. After taking a good look at the parts, it's time to cut them off the sprues. I mark and remove the mold lines with 600 grit sandpaper followed by sanding the entire body with 1000 grit. The front grille looks a bit unrealistic so I cut it out and replace it with a small piece of mesh grille. Some of the panel lines are not deep enough, so I have to make them slightly deeper with my Exacto knife. The Type R wheels are good looking, but I'm gonna be putting on a set of TE37 from another kit. The brakes are also getting replaced by some Brembo brakes, they are also made by Fujimi. Before I paint them, I would like to test the fitment of the new part. To temporarily hold the part in place, I use poster putty or blue tack to do the job. It's always recommended to test fit all the parts before painting them, especially when you have a Fujimi kit. The TEs are not any wider than the Type R wheels, but it's sticking out quite a bit because it has longer fittings. So I have to trim a portion of the fitting for the wheels to sit flush with the fenders. I am planning on using the stock exhaust, but I noticed that the tip of the muffler is being covered by the rear bumper. 
so I have to reposition the muffler by making a new exhaust pipe using electrical and copper wires. By the way, I have a tutorial on how to make custom exhaust for scale model cars and I will link it here if you wanna check it out. With the exhaust done, I move on to the rear subframe. It doesn't have a lot of details, so I make a subframe tie bar using a small zip tie. Not a huge modification, but it does make it look a bit better, especially when you look at it from behind. The seats that come with the kit are missing a huge chunk of plastic in the back, so I fill the openings with two-part epoxy putty. It's very easy to do. You mix two equal parts for a few minutes and then place the putty into the back of the seat. I also use water to shape and smooth out the edges. And when the party is dry, I can sand it with sandpaper to further smooth out the surface. I also drill out the holes in the seat so the racing seat belt can be inserted later. One final thing to do before painting is to wipe it clean with some rubbing alcohol. So that's it for part 1. I will be painting this car in part 2 so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. You're welcome to check out my other videos on my channel as well. I will see you guys in part 2.